Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you, to split your skin, to see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Father, can I go?
I need a quick word. Shadow Heart walks a little freer of the shadows. She could shave her skull and paint it purple. It would still suit her. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. more than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Do not be moved to pity. It is a predator pinned in a trap. And if it wriggles free, mm, you'll find it still has teeth. Ask it. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. Well met. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Of course. Just the one? room for more. Hope you're keeping well, friend. now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. Recall that in time all becomes dust and bone. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection in Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century.
Something good here, I hope. What's on your mind? The gate is closed. As is Casador. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. To tell you the truth, I don't know whether we can defeat Cazador. Not unless we can figure out more about what he's plotting. I think we should track down my fellow Spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Unless Cazadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed. But after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The Elder Brain, but more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic, so pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. That crown sits on our gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature, might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Ooh, nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Yes, fun. Already feeling better. I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night, but it was just to cut her hair, it seems. 
It suits her. What would you like to know? Anytime. I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. <laughs> 